This is a very nice combinatorics problem from uh, ISI entrance. It also came in several Olympiads all through the world. Uh, the problem says that there are K teams which are playing in a round robin tournament. And uh, the, that means basically each team is playing against all other teams and no match is ending in a draw. So each team plays all other teams and no match is ending in a draw. And uh, it also says, suppose the ith team loses ILI games. So team, let's say team five loses L5 games and, win, and wins W5 games. So I'm just denoting the number of games lost and won by the ith team by certain letters. What I want to show is that the summation of all these Li squares, so L1 square plus L2 square plus Lk square, that is equal to W1 square plus W2 square up to Wk square. So this is the problem that we are interested to solve. Uh, I, I would suggest that pause the video and give it a little try. It's a fun problem. It's it's not very hard either. Uh, what what does it mean when we say that li square and wi square are related in this in unique fashion? See, uh, what we do know is something. There is something invariant. Invariant about L i and W i. Instead of just going into the solution of the problem, let me briefly comment that you do not have any control on the actual values of L i and W i because you cannot control how many people won or how many people lost. What we are actually saying here that Though do, we do not have any control whatsoever on how many, how many games are lost by a single team, overall there is something invariant no matter what those numbers of wins and losses are. So there is something very deep, something very fundamental going here. We are looking at something invariant in a system in which everything could change. This is uh, the essence of many mathematical problems. You look into a system, everything is changing. You then look for that one thing that does not change. Uh, the Brouwer fixed point problems are in fact examples of such, uh, such investigations. Okay, now coming back to this uh, problem, what can we say about Li and Wi in total? So for example, we could say that L1 plus W1 that's the number of games lost and the number of games won by team 1. What is the sum of L1 and W1? Can you tell me that? Pause the video, think about it and maybe your answer would be right. Yes, L1 plus W1 would be equal to number of matches played by team 1 and that's exactly equal to k minus 1 right because team 1 plays a match plays one match with every other team so there are k minus 1 such um, such things that we have such matches that we have so l1 plus w1 is k minus 1 so similarly, L2 plus W2 is K minus 1. So though we do not have any control on individual values of L1 and W1 or L2 plus W and W2, we know that their sum is always constant. Can you give it a try now? Pause the video and give it a try right away. Okay, so then what can we say? Well, we can say that L1 equals to K minus 1 minus w1 l2 is equal to 
k minus 1 minus w2 and so on. So we can say it like this. Now let's square an add. Let's square an add. So if I square an add, what do I get? I'll get l1 square plus l2 square up to lk square. This is equal to k1 k minus 1 minus w1 whole square plus k minus 1 minus w2 whole square etc going up to k minus 1 minus wk whole square all right so on the left hand side we have the square of the losses on the right hand side we have the uh, square of k minus 1 minus the wins whole square summation of that open the bracket let's see what happens if we open the bracket so if we open the bracket uh, what ha what would happen is we would get let's go to a new board on the left hand side we already have l1 square plus l2 square up to lk square on the right hand side we will have w1 square minus 2k minus 1 times w1 plus k minus 1 whole square okay similarly this plus we will have w2 square minus 2 times k minus 1 times w2 plus k minus 1 whole square and the last one would be wk square minus 2 times k minus 1 wk plus k minus 1 whole square okay so that's what we have here so one final step is left maybe you can pause the video now and give it a try uh, no one learns mathematics by just looking at solutions so this is supposed to be a sequential hint i'll pause at different moments and let you work on this problem all right okay so this is w1 square plus w2 square up to wk square this much we put them all in one place and then we have how many k minus 1 squares are there how many k minus 1 squares are there there are exactly k of them because there are k equations right so this is k times k minus 1 whole square okay now if you take negative 2 k minus 1 common if you take negative 2k minus 1 common from all of the, these, then you have w1 up to wk. You have w1 up to wk. So you have the sum of the wins w1 up to wk minus 2 times k minus 1 and k times k minus 1 whole square is there. So what can you say about the sum of all the wins? the sum of all the wins is exactly what well it is precisely the number of matches played in the tournament because in every match was won by someone right so if you just add up all the wins you are actually looking at number of matches that were won in the tournament and since no match ended in a draw that is all the matches that that took place in the tournament. So that means this is equal to number of matches in the tournament. And how many matches are, were there in the tournament? Well, there were K teams. Each pair of team played a match. And that means there are exactly K choose two matches in the tournament. So this is k times k minus 1 over 2 k choose 2 you choose two teams from these k teams in as many ways as possible that's the number of matches played in the tournament okay so now let's do the final shot maybe we can finish it off this is equal to w1 square up to wk square plus k times k minus 1 whole square and now we have negative 2 times k minus 1 and the sum of the wins is k choose 2, which is k times k minus 1 over 2. So 2, 2 cancels, and this is precisely what we wanted. So this is equal to w1 square up to wk square 
plus k into k minus 1 whole square and this is also negative k into k minus 1 whole square. So these two cancels off and we are done. So L1 square up to LK square is equal to W1 square up to WK square. But as a problem solving strategy, remember what we noticed. We noticed two things. That is LI plus WI is invariant. So LI plus WI is invariant. And sum of all the WIs is invariant. So this is really an invariance principle problem. You are looking at a system and you are thinking, what is it that is not changing when everything changes? So this one was k minus 1 and this one was k choose 2, the two constants uh, or invariants of the system. All right. Uh, hopefully we can see in other videos each other when we, well, I won't be able to see you, but um, we'll solve some more beautiful problems. Take care.